JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, man gets two life sentences for murder of Jamaican-Canadian couple, but girlfriend set free. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The St. Thomas woman, who was jointly charged with her boyfriend for killing an elderly Jamaican-Canadian couple in the parish in 2018, was this morning freed of murder. A formal plea of not guilty was handed down in the Home Circuit Court after the prosecution offered no evidence against Nikia Thompson. The prosecution told Justice Lorna Shelley Williams that the Crown was unable to mount a viable case in the matter. Among the reasons listed were that fingerprint analyst did not place her at the murder scene, inconclusive DNA result, and that the Crown could not use the statement of her co-accused against her. The father of Thompson's four-year-old daughter, Fabian Skirvin, who was yesterday convicted for the couple's murder, had reportedly made a jailhouse confession in which he had alleged that he had killed the senior citizens with the help of his girlfriend and a wanted man. However, Skirvin denied making any such report. The court heard that Thompson was captured on video footage, being in Skirvin company, when he used the couple's debit card, which he had stolen. However, the prosecution said that it was unable to indict the woman for receiving stolen property as it could not establish that she knew that the card was stolen. Further, the prosecution said that Skirvin had said in his psychiatric report that Thompson didn't know that the card had been stolen and that he had told her that he had borrowed it from his father. The 29-year-old St. Thomas Farmer was yesterday given life sentences for the murder of the couple. The sentences, however, will run concurrently and he must serve 32 years and 4 months in prison before being eligible for parole. Melbourne Flake, 81, and his wife Etta, 70, were found dead at their dream vacation home in Retreat, St. Thomas, on January 9, 2018. The husband had wounds to his head while the wife was reportedly suffocated. Both were found with their hands and feet bound. Facts in the case are that the husband and wife were killed at their home and that their debit cards were stolen and used to make various purchases, including a wedding ring. The court heard that Skirvin had sneaked into the couple's house with a piece of board and hid in their closet for hours, waiting for them to return home. He then tied them up and beat the husband to death. The couple was in Jamaica visiting and had employed Thompson and others to do construction work on their home. Skirvin has maintained that demons had caused him to murder the couple as he was hearing voices. He also contended that he had only planned to rob the couple and yesterday begged the family for forgiveness after expressing regret. The couple, who were Jamaicans, had lived in Canada for 50 years. Thompson, who had indicated yesterday that she was too distraught to speak, today declined to comment on her case. Her lawyer, Hensley Williams, however, said there could have been no other outcome. Attorneys at law Anthony Williams and Julian Bailey represented Skirvin. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.